Pennsylvania, Mr. Perry. Thank the chairman. I'm sure I'm happy the Department of Energy is out here making sure that we can all save money because we're too dumb to figure out how to do it ourselves. Dr. Richmond, as I look at this, you're looking at a gas stove rule, a dishwasher rule, a machine, a washing machine rule, a clothes dryer rule, a general service lamp or light bulb rule, a refrigerator rule, and a new room air conditioner rule. And you said earlier that you do not coordinate with radical environmentalist groups, but in May, in a letter refusing to provide testimony at a hearing in this committee, DOE relied on a court-ordered consent decree initiated by radical environmentalist activist groups for the basis for not providing witnesses. If you don't, if you don't coordinate, why was that the case? So that, uh, thank you for that question. Um, you don't have to thank me, ma'am, just answer, it'd be great. So. That was to, to apply pressure for us to um, give a timeline for us to actually put the rule in place, which is now January 20. So, okay, fair enough. When is it, when must energy standards be updated per the statute? So every six years, uh, DOE is to look to see whether- And, and consider them, right? Yeah. Okay, consider, does that mean, because consider mean promulgate rules every six years? No, uh, it does not uh, suggest that. What we do every six years is we look to see whether- Okay, so when do you decide that it's finally time? Every, every six years, it's-, it's Every six years you take a look to determine whether you like efficiency standards or not, but every six years you don't promulgate a rule, right? I just went through gas stove, refrigerator, air conditioner, clothes dryer, light bulb, washing machine, but every six years we haven't had one of them. So how come every six years we haven't had one if you look at them every six years? Well, every six, you know, they're not exactly all timed for the very same year, of course. They're well, they look like they're pretty well timed right now. Well, these six are certainly, yeah, but we have yeah. 60 appliances that we work with. Yeah, and, 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 you know, washing machines, refrigerators, gas stoves are something that are found in most people's homes, even people on the lower end of the economic spectrum. Ma'am, I don't know what kind of gas stove you have in your house, and to the gentle lady from the other side of the aisle says it's not a ban. According to my figures, 4% of current gas stove tops available in the market today meet the, the rule, which means 96% of them don't. And if you're not making a lot of money, you can't afford the, the expensive one that it probably will meet it, so you've got to try and buy the other one. You're, you know, I'm glad the Department of Energy is saving everybody a bunch of money by forcing them to spend a bunch of money, but if you have a gas stove in your home right now, there's a gas line coming to it and probably a 110 connection, do you know what it takes to put an electric stove in your home? You have any idea? Uh no, I don't, but I do. Here, I do. You've got to run a 220 line, which means you've got to probably have to get an electrician because unless you know how to do that yourself, you're playing with potentially losing your life and electrocuting yourself. And your township or your municipality is not going to let you do it. You're going to have to hire somebody to come in and drill holes in your floor and pull wire to the panel and hook that whole thing up. And how much is that going to cost? Is that included in your efficiency savings calculation? Is that whole operation included, especially for poor people who are just happy to have a gas stove? Well, I have two things to say to that. First of all, we're not requiring anyone to change to an electric stove. Not so when your stove all. dies, when your stove no longer works, uh -huh. and the Department of Energy has determined you can't buy one of these, you've got to buy one of the expensive ones or an electric one, because that's all you can afford, and then you've got to run electricity. I'm just asking, have you included that in your calculation of saving us all from ourselves? Let me just say that we, again, are strongly in favor of consumer choice, and so the consumer- Apparently not. To do, and, and if Let I me ask you this. DOE and EPA signed a joint memorandum on interagency communication and consultation on electric reliability in March, where both agencies agreed to consult with FERC on carrying out activities related to the reliability of the electric grid. Now, DOE's proposed uh, regarding gas stove uh, regulation encourages 40% of American households to switch from gas powered to electric stoves. Did the DOE consult with FERC to ensure the rules proposed under your purview to not necessarily strain the U.S. grid? Uh, we did not. Uh, and you they, didn't? No, what I'm saying is that in our energy uh, um, stand, energy conservation standards program, we did not 
consult with, with FERC on what So does that mean the Department of Energy intends to ignore the impact of our nation's energy security for their own uh, selfish reasoning and intent? Well, let me go back to the fact that we don't, uh, we don't require anyone to change their from gas to electric. Ma'am, you don't have to require them if they're not available on the market to buy. There's no requirement. You just can't get it. Thank you very much for limiting our choices. We thought we were free in America until we met you folks. So I yield the balance.